Augmented reality, unlike virtual reality, takes the virtual um, like a CAD model and puts it in an actual physical world. This is the uh, HoloLens. This is basically the wearable device. The way it works, the computer screen projects right onto the lens. You can see the CAD model projected right into the physical world. The glasses are a little bit like a space helmet. This one might be a little bit more user friendly. Everybody's got a smartphone, everybody's got a tablet. So once you load everything up, you just hold it up, walk around, and you can interact with it that way. We can use this type of technology purely in our conceptual phase to get instant customer feedback. Say day one you're meeting with a product manager and he's got a great idea. Well, all it is is an idea. So I can only sketch so well on a napkin. I'll bring it back to engineering and then it's time for conceptual or like a 3D drawing. It'll go from engineering, then it needs to be production intent prints, gets released to production, goes through the shop, comes back, engineering receives everything in, makes sure that it matches the prints, goes over to assembly. Assembly builds everything, then it's time to get the customer back engaged. Get everybody back in the room just so that they can tell you yes or no. If it's no, you start the whole process over again. So you start adding days, weeks, months, and ultimately a lost opportunity when we could have solved everything from the beginning. With augmented reality, I can go from meeting with product manager straight to engineering, and the minute we have a 3D concept, you can actually go out to production, load up the image, and interact with it around the coach. You can place it in the coach, you can move it around, and you can tell me, do you have enough room to move around in this floor plan? Do we need to get bigger? Do we need to get wider? Is that aesthetically what you were after? And if not, you can make real-time changes right there because they're much easier to change on a computer then once you get into production. The reason why we like this type of technology, we don't have to go out and create uh, conceptual parts, create chips to make these parts, so it's gonna save us costs and time. Streamlining and making sure that we don't make those mistakes is ultimately gonna help us reduce costs, be faster to market, and make sure that the customers get exactly what they want.